present here today to extend on behalf of His Excellency, President Maitripala Sirisena, the government and the people of Sri Lanka, warm felicitations and best wishes on the happy occasion of the celebration of the 88th birth anniversary of His Majesty King Bhumibol Atum Tej and the National Day of the Kingdom of Thailand. It gives me great pleasure to join in the celebrations on this happy occasion as it coincides with the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Sri Lanka and Thailand. Sri Lanka and Thailand enjoy a historic relationship that has been fostered over centuries by shared cultural and religious values. Buddhism has played a crucial role towards promoting and strengthening these relations between our two countries. This relationship was further consolidated with the establishment of diplomatic relations in 1955. Since then, the two countries have experienced a steady growth in exchanges at every level. In order to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries, a series of commemorative events commenced in November last year, culminating in the visit of His Excellency President Maitipal Sirisena to the Kingdom of Thailand from the 1st to 4th of November this year. As a symbol of the long-standing friendship between Sri Lanka and Thailand, several commemorative events were held during the visit of His Excellency the President, which highlighted the historic, religious and cultural ties between our two countries. The sacred relics of the Lord Buddha were taken from Sri Lanka for an exposition in Thailand. Nearly half a million Thai nationals visited and worshipped the sacred relics during the two weeks long exposition. A granite statue of the Lord Buddha was gifted to Wat Tharma Ram Temple in Ayutthaya. This is the temple from which Tera Upali brought the Upasampada to Sri Lanka several centuries ago. A period chanting ceremony by 60 Buddhist monks from Sri Lanka together with Thai monks was held to invoke blessings on both countries. Sri Lanka and Thailand also issued commemorative stamps in November to mark this important event. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the high-level visit of His Excellency the President to Thailand, as well as the visit last year by Her Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Srindon of Thailand and the Deputy Thai Prime Minister Honorable Visanu Kea Nam's visit to Sri Lanka accompanying the sacred relics on their return to Sri Lanka from Bangkok in November this year have paved the way for enhanced cooperation in several mutually beneficial areas and have had a significant impact in strengthening the warm and cordial ties between our two countries and our people. Further, there is vast potential to strengthen the trade and investment relations between our two countries as both have much to offer in these fields. Sri Lanka Thailand trade relations are based on partnership rather than competitiveness. Therefore, it is in the mutual interest of both our countries to maximize the trade and investment in relevant fields, most particularly with the participation of the private sector. Potentially in areas such as tourism, gems, agriculture, fisheries and pharmaceuticals could be further explored and expanded as well. In addition, there is also ample scope for further strengthening ties between the private sectors of our countries. Sri Lanka appreciates the assistance Thailand has provided 
in the areas of technical cooperation and opportunities afforded for the employment of Sri Lankans in Thailand. Sri Lanka and Thailand have a history of collaboration and cooperation in pursuing common interests and objectives in the international arena. Both countries continue to encourage and support each other, both in the regional and multilateral fora towards achieving common goals. Enhanced regional cooperation between Thailand and Sri Lanka continues to flourish, especially in BIMSTEC, ARF and ACD. Sri Lanka also appreciates the excellent cooperation and cost consistent support that Thailand has extended to Sri Lanka in the multilateral fora, most especially in the UNHRC. These are indicative of the shared values and interests both countries pursue in relation to global affairs. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this opportunity to also acknowledge at this point the valuable contribution made by His Excellency, the Ambassador of Thailand in Sri Lanka, in furthering the ties between our two countries. His simplicity and humble approach is an added advantage in facilitating people-to-people -people contacts between the two countries. We wish him all success in his tenure as Ambassador of Thailand in Sri Lanka. I must also say that His Excellency was my guest in Kandy even before he was appointed the Ambassador of Thailand to Sri Lanka. May the strong bonds of friendship and cooperation between Sri Lanka and Thailand grow from strength to strength in the years ahead. In that spirit of friendship and goodwill, may I take this opportunity to invite you to join me in a toast to the health and personal well-being of His Majesty King Moonbol Atul Tej of Thailand, to the continued progress and prosperity of the people of Thailand, to further strengthening of friendship and cooperation between Sri Lanka and Thailand. Thank you, Honorable.